Hello everyone, this is Mirzai from Kapoi Pomona and in this lesson we are going to continue the uh, concept of utility theory. In this lesson specifically we are going to be uh, familiar with von Neumann Morgenstern axioms. If a person's preference satisfies the following axiom, then he or she should choose between lotteries by using the expected utility criterion. Basically, this definition says whatever we covered in the last two parts can apply if the following axioms exist. The first axiom, which is called the complete ordering um, axiom, is about two lotteries that have a reward uh, R1 and R2. And the idea is if reward 2 is preferred over reward 1, and at the same time reward 1 is preferred over reward 2, then there is no difference between these two rewards. Remember that the preference in this case is not the same as equality. For example, reward 1 and 2 can be 200 and 300 dollars. They could have totally different values, but they have the same preference for the user. Also, if reward 1 is preferred over reward 2 and 2 is preferred over 3, then we can say reward 1 is preferred over reward 3. It's the same concept as numerical values. when 4 is greater than 2, 2 is greater than 1, then 4 is greater than 1. The second axiom says that if you have two lotteries, like the one that is shown here, and if both of R1 and R3 are greater than R2, you won't, you might not be able to find a C that makes these two lottery indifferent because both of these rewards are preferred over R2. However, if R1 is preferred over R2 and R2 is preferred over R3, then we should be able to find a C that makes these two lotteries indifferent. Otherwise, we're not going to be able to use expected utility criterion to find utility functions. This axiom called continuity axiom. The third axiom says if reward R2 and R3 are indifferent for decision makers in these two lotteries, so you have two lotteries, R3 is exactly the same in both, but um, R1 and R2 are different, but they have the same preference for the decision maker. Then the idea is in this case, for any value of C or for any probability that you put in here, these two lottery are indifferent. So axiom is called independence axiom. The fourth axiom says if R1 preferred over R2, the decision maker prefers the lottery with the higher probability of R1. And that's called unequal probability ax axiom. And axiom 5, it's about a compound lottery that we already showed that. It says any compound lottery has an equivalent simple lottery. Look at this compound lottery. We can simplify that by multiplying these two as their probability of gaining $6 and these two for probability of gaining negative $4. After multiplying these two, since there are two possibilities to gain negative 4, we can sum these up and write it as the probability of 0.7 for gaining negative four dollars. So as you see for any compound lottery we can write a simple lottery. With this our lesson has concluded. Please refer to your blackboards for your assignments. Thank you.